the meeting with Therma had been arranged high up above the streets of the city. I decided to go on alone to meet with Therma, but when I reached the rooftop, she wasn't there. As I waited, I started to think about the situation, and the more I did, the more I decided that I ought to go and get Malachite. Frankly, hooking him up with Therma was probably the only way to get him off my back. Maybe it'd help me get some answers out of Therma, too. Well, I'm back. It's not been easy, but I've arranged a meeting with Therma. <gasps> Take me there. Take me to Therma. In a moment. First, there's a couple of things we need to discuss. <laughs> Take me to Therma. Take me now. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go. The rooftops above Salis and Fedra were quiet. No one had a reason to be up here. I was looking forward to meeting the mysterious Therma, and I was hoping I might get some answers out of her. Unfortunately, the last thing I remembered was looking up at the moon. The next thing I knew, I was being arrested by the Watch. They told me Malachite was as dead as two sides of bacon, and I was the prime suspect. His back had been chipped away like he'd said something particularly insulting to a disgruntled quarry workman, and they seemed to think my crowbar was the murder weapon. I had the opportunity and a possible murder weapon. All they were missing was motive, and anyone who had ever tried to get an intelligent comment out of the troll had a motive to kill him. It looked like I'd been stitched up as nicely as a fine Genuan tapestry. They took me to Pseudopolis Yard to be interrogated. They had a salamander lamp shining in my eyes so I couldn't see what was going on, but I could hear Nobby and a troll talking in the darkness. It was probably Detritus, the first troll to join the Watch. Detritus was the troll many people in Ankh Morpork thought of when they heard the word troll bringing back, as it does, vague memories of sudden concussion and extreme pain. Sometimes you'd hear two short planks being described as thick as detritus. Your ideal street cop, in fact. So I'm the good cop? No, I'm the good cop. You're the bad cop. Dad, why don't I get to prod him a bit with my fists? Because we're supposed to get information out of him, and it's hard to understand people talking through a mouthful of loose teeth. I can smash lightly. More like a gentle caress, right? No. No punching. Uh, I can kick using n minimal acceptable force. Like Mr. Vimes says. Lots of it. No. No punching. No kicking. We just talk to him. Talk? Right, well, I'll talk. You shout. All right, you've done it. Own up now. We know it was you. No, 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 not yet. Oh, all right. I've just got to start the audiograph. Right. All right, you've done it now. You've got to sing like one of them flappy twittery things. Wait. I've got to start the recording properly, otherwise it doesn't count. Right. Interviewing Suspect Luton. Present, Corporal Nobbs and Sergeant Detroitus. Now? Now. All right, you've done it. You might as well make it easy on yourself. Everyone know it was you. This is my interrogation, is it? Don't you change the subject, you miserable excuse for a horse's donkey. Just tell us what happened, Luton. Here are the facts. Fact. Mundy was killed. You found it at the murder scene. I was unconscious. How are you knowing you was unconscious if you was unconscious, eh? Ha 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 ha. Foiled you with logic. Now you listen to me good, and then we see who wears the long two-legged garments. Fact. Escape thingy, Mount Malachite. Thingy? You mean troll? Nah. Not escape troll. Escaped, uh... Feline. Escaped feline? Yeah. 
He escaped from a holding cell. Is it possible the word we're looking for here is felon? That's the one. What did he do? Hey, we asked the questions, you miserable Arugaraha. You know what Arugaraha mean? He knocked over the Van Uberwald mansion. I never knocked over the Von Uberwald mansion. Now that's what Malachite did. So what does Arugraha mean? In the precise moment that dog droppings turn white. I think you'd better get back to being the bad cop. I'm the good cop. Now I'm the good cop. So that make me... Uh, the bad cop. So how come I not get to hit you then? We can't beat him up, Detroitus. That'd be police brutality. It only brutality if you leave marks what show. Escape thingy, Mount Malachite. Was killed. And you was found at the murder scene there too. Once again, I was unconscious. Oh, how convenient for you. Two murders and two unconscious gisnesses. What about the murder weapon, eh? What about the crowbar? Tell us where you got the crowbar, and I'll give you a smoke. One of your dog ends? No, thanks. I'll get you coffee. Maybe some cherry cake. New suit. You get to choose the color. I, I think you're taking this good cop role too seriously. Thank you. Now my turn. You want to fall down the steps to the cell without leaving your chair? It's fine by me. Look, I had a meeting with a troll named Therma on the rooftops of Salis and Fedra. I'd arranged it on Malachite's behalf, and when we got there, I must have been knocked unconscious by the killer. I know it sounds improbable, but that's how it happened. Two murders, and you happen to be unconscious at the scene of both. You gotta admit, Luton, it's a little far-fetched. You want I should make up a defense? You want I should lie? This is the lawyer's guild all of a sudden? Just tell us what you know. I've told you all I know. How come you know Malachite? 